Alright, what's up guys? So, Where Testers has uploaded another uh, review video, Air Jordan 4 Bread Re... Imag reimagine yeah re uh, reimagine i don't know why what time is it it's yeah it's 1 14 a.m i should be asleep although i was about to say um re-imaged but because i feel like i would usually um when i would see the shoes i wouldn't even see like reimagine i just say i just would tell somebody um re image but anyways all right but no overall though i feel like uh um nike and the air jordan brand like they've been doing this a lot i mean they did it with the lost and founds I'm trying to think of some other shoes they've done it with. Yeah, they just, they know people want OG colorways and stuff. So they're like, okay, well, we can't make them like how they used to be. So let's give them this uh, either a newer or older look, depending on, you know, what we overall do with the shoe and stuff. Or come out with like some version of it where it's like, it's not the original shoe, but it might as well be the original shoe. Like, for an example, them uh, satin um, bread ones. And there's like, they already came out with something like that. But they, what was it, back in 2013? And it's going for like $8,000 now. Now they came out with a female release. And it's uh, like, yeah, you can look on StockX. Literally the same exact shoe. Might be some slight differences, but it's the same exact shoe. But yeah, they know people want it. So they're all like, oh, well, let's slap on a different title for it. But yeah you know throw the shoe out there i feel like it's making it more easier to get because if they were just to say air jordan um for bread then yeah people are all like oh i gotta go out and get me a bunch of pairs but yeah now it's uh the reimagined they're all like reimagined no i don't want that i don't want no reimagined i just want air jordan for bread so that's it's weird how the sneaker game works but i like it it has it where i could go out and get them. i might be able to go out and get me a pair of these shoes um because i was like i think yeah when the original um bread fours those came out um back some years ago didn't get a pair so i'm like hey if they got some extra words on the box i ain't tripping about it so now nah, let's go ahead and get into this video make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to wear testers for more videos like this and then that being yeah, said i'd be mad if they made a black and red version like this you know what i'm saying with like this ni nice upper i would totally be down for it by hmm. sheer coincidence <laughs> ready? oh yeah is it a good smell sometimes shoes don't be having them good smells bro Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we finally got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. Six years in the making, if you will, from the time that I said that in that alternate motorsport <laughs> video. And uh, fast forward to 2024, and the time has almost come where these guys right look here nice. are about to drop. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's like now, a leather, quick, yeah. The last time that these released was 2019? I think so. Like Let me double check. I'm sorry. 18 or 19. It was 2019. Okay. This is the shoe right here. They came back truer yeah, to like original that form than ever before. That is definitely not the case with this one. This is an alternate take on the original. Yeah, so leather. There's, that. there's some very I, interesting you know the things about And the funny thing is, like hold on for a second. The funny thing is, is that I think that was another reason why I didn't get them because like I live out in uh, Seattle, Washington, so it, it just it'll rain literally for no reason out here. You could just be chilling out of nowhere, pouring down rain. Why is it raining? I don't know why it's raining. It'll be smack dead in the middle of August. Rain. All right. So, but no, like I I try to avoid suede shoes because like one of my favorite pairs of shoes is the Air Jordan Six, but I'm like I can't really wear those outside too many uh times because of the rain and stuff so you have to like really pick and choose on what day i might have to go out and get these because i'm like it's a leather shoe perfect for um you know this this part of the world and things where i'm like okay i ain't gotta worry about them getting too dirty and stuff but um yeah i i think i think it's a, a shoe that i would like you know the world might not like it but i like it so that including if you were to throw in these with the nike air on the back and the shoe that they were supposed to have been built off of which is the mm. sb version of the jordan 4 so this is the box for the brand new oh. version essentially it's a flipped version of the original yeah box. the only thing that's truly different besides like you know the logo branding and stuff because this they tried to make it mm. as close to original as possible but still making it a jordan branded product somewhere after that release they decided to scrap that and just go straight og that's why you see the nike air yeah, it is different the and the only other difference is that there's the pull tab thingy that's like right over here instead of it being an actual like pull tab with the little metal grommet and stuff like that now these okay. are being dubbed the air jordan 4 bread reimagined because it's supposed to be a reimagined take on the original I feel like it should be just called like bread alternate 
in it or something like that. You know, yeah. I mean? especially if you're going to force too. us to use that bread terminology. They probably, I think, if they were to come out with the bread alternate, it'll probably be like reverse coloring and stuff. So like the um this, I can see like this um being this color and then uh the red being there and then uh the black being at the uh um the like the shoe the shoelace the shoelace tabs i don't know bro but anyways yeah i can see where the colors cuz i think that's what they usually do with the alternate ones they'll like it'll be um just like the colors are reversed and things it'll be like the box for an example so even though they're black cements but hey that's a different topic for a different day. The only reason why I say that is simply because I don't feel like any of the reimagined releases outside of the Lost and Founds yeah. have truly been reimagined. Now, I will say with a slight caveat that I don't know if those are technically like a reimagined. Nah. Or are, are they? Because they were called Lost and Founds. Yeah. So they had a very specific theme to them. Now, all the other reimagined pairs, whether it be the black and red with the patent mm -hmm. or the suede and nubile yep. royals Got those. or these guys right here, like they're actually like alternate versions versions of original colorways but not quite with that lost and found flavor so like i think they might I, be too they need to what no what they really need to do is just come out like okay og reimagine alternate and then lost and found or whatever names they want to come out with but they just need to have like those lines just so it'll be easier to identify like okay if you want to go because i can see somebody right now if they just get in the sneakers and then they see these and then they're all like oh man i want to go and get me the uh the um bread forest oh these are cheaper than these ones and then they looked them because that's that was stuff that i was doing when i very first got into sneakers i was like oh i want those to go and get them and i'm like wait a second those look different than those ones and it's like oh those are mids and then those are like high tops and then those are low so yeah it's like i think they should you know um just make it a little bit easier to identify and stuff so but things, anyways but, but if they are one and the same i will say that the lost and founds leaps and bounds better than any of the other releases as far as overall presentation only because it really went after that theme you know what i mean of like what it was supposed to be so are they reimagined technically i don't know are these reimagined i would just call it alternate yeah you know I mean? so that's what they did back Alternate, then they right. had the motorsport jordan fours that finally released originally a pe and then they released a black version and guess what they called them the alternate motorsports hey genius <laughs> now as far as this shoe is concerned this is a 1989 classic done up in a brand new look technically as far as this specific. dang 1989 man i was like that was the year my sister was born but dang it just it trips me out because i like i yeah yeah you know like you know that was like the year that they came out since the first ones was in 85 and stuff but Dang, it just, it'll hit me at times, like, you know, like, with just all, like, the, um, there's those four Jordans and things in the 80s, I'm like, dang, man, people were living good in the 80s, I feel like the 80s, that was a, man, I'm telling you, there is, if I had a DeLorean, uh, yeah, I just, nah, 80s, I just have to, I definitely travel back in time, and be like, nah, because I'm pretty sure what, these is going for, like, 50, 60 dollars and stuff, so, yeah, I definitely would have went back in time, got me a few pairs of these. Colorway is concerned, where they took what was originally Durabuck, later on used synthetic new buck and stuff like that like these 2019s uh, and then they switched mm. it up with using actually nice leather so uh, we're going to talk about all the differences and things like that because the reimagined pair are not built quite like the remastered or og whatever it is that you want to call them instead they built them off of this which is interesting because some of the things i totally am cool with some of the things i'm kind of like hey wait a minute that's not actually an original feature so why is it on here the main thing that they took from the sb version of the shoe is the overall shape and so they did and they did that well if you compare this reimagined pair to the 2019 release the shape of the shoes has been refined even more than it was on these yeah. guys if you were to compare these to their original um what do they call them remastered which was these guys right here that i can't remember when these were released. Was a while earlier 2015 ish 2015 2016 if you were to look at the toe boxes just alone the toe box on the white cements is just bulky boxy yeah. disgusting looks nothing like the original whereas these guys right here are a little bit more streamlined a little bit closer to the original are they exact no are the nike sbs no but it's still closer than that one i will say real quick though i really hope because this is my worn pair of my 2019s i just hope that this don't Dang. happen a couple of things that they added to the reimagined pair would be located right there on the toe box. They actually use those die cut lines at the toe rand as well as on the panel underneath at the underlay panel that right here at the base of the tongue. They do have those tiny little die cut marks, much like what they've been adding on the Air Jordan 3s. Uh, those are not on the SB version of the shoe, and I don't even recall them being on the original versions of the shoe, so I do think that that's a little bit strange that those are on there. Maybe they were on some version 
of the original because as I've been deep diving into all of these like remastered or OG or whatever, I've been finding out that there's just so many different factories making the same and shoe that they are all a little bit different than one another and this started all the way back in 1985 with the air jordan one and just kind of continued on from there now one thing that they kept from the sb release that i i definitely question on this one is the tongue so the tongue was puffed up because you know mm. skating whereas the originals including these 2019 retros and the og retro very much closer to the original with a nice thin tongue felt great on foot really nice fit these guys they have the fat tongue again so that's where i'm kind of like why did you do that like please pay attention to detail is it comfortable though i guess like more so with me i look for comfort because i I, re I think it was no it was those um up tempos those uh air more up tempos that came out i think it was 2018 i believe and bro when i tell you i was like nah bro freaking kuta kente my ankles i'm like i don't even want them no more <laughs> nah man them shoes was really messing up my ankles to the point where it was, I remember it was like right after work and I was like, okay, the Nike store is right up the street. I could just go up there and give me some Air Forces or something. But, oh my God. I'm like, there's at times where there are shoes where I'm like, you guys really... I, to me, I look, I don't care about them, not because obviously they're never going to be original. So I'm like, okay, if you guys are going to change them, at least change them for a comfort reason, you know? So anyways... And then last but not least, as far as the comparison to the SB, the midsoles feel similar. They don't feel the same, they do feel similar. So this shoe right here is by far the most comfortable Air Jordan 4 I've ever worn and the tech specs are not original which is super weird whereas hmm. these guys are a blend of the two so they do have the original tech specs but the polyurethane that they use for the midsole just feels a little bit squishier which i really enjoy now something that the shoes actually come with is this black hang tag right here which is actually oh, okay. a play on the original so they did come with the hang tag this one's just black instead of orange and i think that's kind of cool now as for the outsole it's the same exact thing as every other air jordan 4 this is the 2019 release and you can see hmm. that they are pretty much identical it's the first air Air Jordan in the signature line to use herringbone as a traction pattern. The Air Jordan 1, 2, and 3 all use more of a radial pattern, and uh, this was the move, I think. I think this was great. Now, moving on up, we do have the polyurethane midsole, like I was saying before. It does feel a little softer or a little squishier than some of the previous releases outside of the Nike SB one. Again, I think that's a really good move. They don't feel like the Nike SBs, but maybe they will once you start to break them in. And inside that polyurethane is an encapsulated four foot air sole unit, and then in the rear, there's a visible one. They did change the insole so this actually does come with a real polyurethane insole it's not the dream cell stuff so this i think is a, another great move I, I just love that it's in there now as far as the upper is does concerned, it say uh aj11 on it or is that like he just took it out because i i that would I, that would concern me if i pull out the insole and it says aj11 i'm like Wait, was y'all, so you just, what, y'all just ran out and just start slapping in some Air Jordan 11s? Or, like, did he pull that out of an Air Jordan 11 just to show? Because he didn't want to pull it out there. I, I'm just, I'm concerned. I'm just a concerned sneaker citizen. All that's right. where these guys are truly reimagined or an alternate version of because they take and replace the synthetic Nubuck or what was originally used in the 1989 release, which was Durabuck, and they replaced it with all the leather and everything. It's not tumbled. It is slightly textured. I love mm. this. It looks so good. The only complaint that I can talk about with my particular pair is actually on the toe boxes. Both of mine have these divots what the mm, hell what is that factory from? I'm not sure exactly <laughs> the only thing i can guess is that they were put in the box like this and their toe like it literally matches right oh up. yeah they use those foamy pieces that nike uses well, jordan brand has used them on shoes like the the 34s and the 36s oh, right, for the fins yeah for you know the things that are fabric that don't matter but hey they wanted to keep their shape and stuff not this whatever dude this is jordan brand at this point when the shoe comes they probably was like shaking the box and so then that um that uh, hill part was just digging in dang man that's messed up like this i expect it should i expect it no but i do but yeah i think that if you're able to get a pair you should be happy are they going to be super easy to get i don't know it's not like the reimagined threes were hard to get like they were sitting around for a little bit and stuff so mm. i'm sure that it depends on your area speaking of your area our last upload that we did we we talked about the off-white jordan fives because i had just mm. recently got them i asked you guys if you wanted a video a lot of you said yes that's why the video was made inside that video though i did ask the question like where are you from and what did they call specific colorways of shoes way back when they originally released because we didn't have these nicknames where i'm from in the bay area like we didn't call them anything but what the color was black mm. cement white cement the military blues the fire like that was literally their nicknames you know what i mean 
mean, like we didn't call them breads or <laughs> whatever, like cherries and all that stuff. It just wasn't a thing until retro started happening. And the comments were lit in that whole video. Dude. <laughs> like everybody was leaving comments on like where they're from, what they called things, all this stuff. A lot of people I'm trying to think because my it was my friends. They were more so in the sneakers. I got into the sneaker game late. Like I even remember one of my friends, he did have a pair of um, white cement threes when he was in the fifth grade. And I'm like, dang, bro. I, yeah, I just don't. It was like, I, the crazy thing is, is like, I remembered like so many sneaker moments with my friends. And uh, I think uh, like throughout my time in school, I was like the only dope pair of sneakers I do remember having was uh, the, um, it was like a pair of Kobe fives. It was like when they had just released two and they just came out. And um, it was the, it was a Laker colorway. And that was like, I ended up messing those shoes up. Then I donated them and I was like, bruh, mistakes, man. I made mistakes throughout my childhood. But anyways, um, but yeah, like I remember, yeah, my friend having the white cement. I don't even know if he did call them anything else. Like I knew that they were um, like, they were like good shoes and things. Cause he was, yeah, the way he was walking around school, he didn't want to like crease them. So he was doing these like weird baby walks, but yeah, I was like, I just me, I was like, bro, I now I don't even care. I crease my shoes. I'm like, look, bro, um, I'm I don't know. I, I would say like mentally, I'm an old soul. I'm like, I don't even care no more. I'm I've always have been reckless with my shoes, and most likely I get these. Oh, you best believe I'm going to be reckless with them. I'll be wearing them out in all types of weather conditions and things to just really see how durable they are and stuff. Cause yeah, I don't care. But no, name wise, yeah, we we just called uh Jordans. Like I just I, I don't know. I had to. Ask my friends but yeah it was uh i think they just there was like um they just called them the new like air jordan whatever it's like they wasn't really calling them names and stuff so same page, like so bread really or cherry or anything that else did that and took the time to leave the comments I, I really do thank you so much so uh yeah you guys are awesome and for weighing in on soda <laughs> well yeah i was gonna say we asked multiple questions i just didn't want to like focus on i wanted to focus on the one question well i have a new question what Whatever state you're in, what is the sandwich of your state? We just Ooh. watched a whole video on that. Sandwich. And in and out. What is the sandwich? We got some subways out here, um, but we don't have like a, a sandwich. We more so have Starbucks. You know, I guarantee it was funny. There's a video game that I play, but no, we got like a gang of Starbucks everywhere. You go to any city out here in Washington State, you are bet you best believe you're gonna see a Starbucks on um on some corner and stuff. But no, they Seattle is just riddled with um Starbucks and things like start. It's like a stitches. No, it's like it's just a safe area. It's like think of a video game and think of like the safe houses and homes and all that stuff. That's the Starbucks. It's like Starbucks is our safe home, but. There is this um, uh, racing game that came out a while back called the uh, the Crew 2. And honestly, they couldn't have like Starbucks coffee in there for copyright reasons. But if you go, um, if you play that game, the Crew 2, and you go to uh, um, like the Washington State area, because it's not like all of Washington State. It's just like the major cities of Washington. And it's like that with every other. The Crew 2 is a really good game. I definitely recommend you guys um, check it out and things. But anyways, um, no, but they do have like a coffee uh, place like on pretty much like there's this one area in Washington, in the Washington State area in that game where it was just a whole just a bunch of buildings and like every other building was a coffee um a coffee store so yeah man that's that's us we ain't got sandwiches we got coffee out here so burgers got that's us that was a uh which is weird right yes. that's not a sandwich technically it is but it's hey. not no, technically a hot dog is a sandwich. So, I didn't make the rules, okay? Yeah, I is. mean... It, yeah, should we do a question of the day every video? I if it, My thing is this. If it comes with, like, if you put, if you could put condiments on there, it's a sandwich, so bro. It's fun, you know what I mean? Just like a random ass, like, hey. But yeah, for engagement, for the algorithm. Anyways, if you're interested in these guys right here, they do fit true to size, so whatever you typically wear in your Air Jordan 4s, that's exactly what I would recommend. The leather is very plush, so for all you pinky toe guys out there that you know get your pinky toes obliterated by this little hump right here, I would still go with whatever you typically go with just mm. to be safe, but just know that if you did put a little bit of extra time into these guys, uh, you might be okay in some cases. I might yeah, have to get a pair of these. Wide foot, that won't be the case for you, but for somebody that just has a slightly wide foot, I think that you'll be okay.
But sound off below and let us know what you think about these in the comment section. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the original styling with the durable? I like leather upper, or do you like the alternate version? With, yeah, you know the nice leather and things like that. Yeah. Also, how do you think that they stack up against these? I think that they did a good job replicating the shoe overall. I just question why the non-skate version has the puffy tongue because I understand why the skate version did. I will say that they have the excuse of being like, well, it's it's a reimagined. It doesn't have to be like the original. I, I get that. So with the militaries. Let's see what happens. But with all that being said, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one. Yeah, man. I might have to cop those when they uh, when they come out. Because, no, nah, it's just like I've, I've only have had, I think, maybe two pairs of fours, I believe. And I think I ended up selling one. I still got the other because I, I remember, no... It was, uh, um, it rained really bad out here. It was those weatherized, um, fours that looked like the Eminem fours that came out years ago. And I remember I wore those thinking like, oh, okay, you know, it's weatherized. Like, I can wear them out in the rain and stuff. Nah. I was like, I remember, I, I vividly remember I went into Target and I was like, I, I was pretty much, like, people was looking at me because they was like, how did you make it through that? When I tell you it rains out here, bro, it literally rains. It ain't like, no, just like, okay, like a, like a small little, like, dip your hand in a cup of water and it's like, like, no, it's literally, you like, them at the end of a football game and they get, like, a whole, like, jug of Gatorade and toss it on you type rain. Like, you gotta, like, walk in there and do, like, a shake like a dog or something when you go into an establishment but anyways i remember i wore those um uh those weatherized fours that came out and yeah they were like the shoes were soaked like it like literally water was built up on the shoes and stuff so yeah man it was um wasn't good it wasn't good at all so i feel like these um air i wonder i don't even know if they've came out uh yet thing and because i i got to yeah see that people selling them for freaking crazy amounts on uh um goat and things i'm like i'm not trying to that's crazy that is crazy 818 dollars to just get an instant uh shipping these shoes i don't even think i wonder if they like if there's a thing where it says like when they release and stuff because i'm not i'm not spending that much on them shoes i'm like you are on some serious i would spend that 36.90 that's for the delivery price and things but they don't say, like, when the shoes is coming out. They just showing a bunch of different things. But I'm on Complex right now. There's, like, fe oh, oh, okay. So there's, like, a full family sizing February 17th. Retailing 215. That's not bad. 215 is not bad. I I, I can I can roll with that and stuff. So, but anyways, make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to Wear Testers for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.